What's up guys? Y'all know what day it is simply because of this great big Big Mac truck. Mac Tools truck. So let's see what Michael's got. You guys, come on. Winter time out there. It is. Next week's gonna be bad. They call it can't snow be much a couple days next can't week. Can't be much think. worse than what it is today. <laughs> woo, it is cold, cold. <clears throat> yep. Well, he got this thing loaded down. You need to run this thing across a cat scale and just see how much this thing weighs. You may not want to know though. Uh, probably not. <laughs> probably not. <laughs> Man, there ain't no telling how much this weight's just on this one shelf right here. I'm just glad they're reinforced the way they are. Golly. Joker is full. Well, look at all them boxes down there. There ain't no telling what that shelf weighs. That's a lot of weight on that Joker. It's... it's that bottom shelf's all like tapping dies and big pry bar sets and pullers and slide hammers and it, uh, it's a bunch back there. Yeah. Well, you got a nice work table. Yeah, that's some of the Mac work tables. I uh, think we got stainless like, top. Stainless steel top. Yeah, boy. We got a bunch of them in. They got the stainless steel tops with uh, butcher block wood tops. Um, Big old wheels on them. Some got wheels, some are stationary. Man, that's nice. So, How long is that thing? I'd say close to 60 inches or so. 58, 60 yeah. inches, roughly. Thing is nice. You got me curious now. How bad salt? Ooh, that thing's solid too. Ain't it, it is. That's wood under that top. Mm-hmm. Wrapped in <laughs> I know one thing, that choker's heavy. That is nice. Man. 16 so, gauge stainless, 304 stainless over a wood core. Yeah. It's deep. What does them jokers run? It's got the six inch casters. They're 60 inches long. 60. Man, that's nice. They're pretty salty. Um, let's see. I can tell you what regular price is on them. Oh, now we don't care what regular price is. We want to know the <laughs> Mac Daddy. I'm selling it to you price. Oh, uh, I've got it wrote down somewhere. That's what I was looking for this morning. This must be some <laughs> double top secret pricing. Oh, uh, stationary mobile stainless steel truck mobile. exclusive pricing. Because uh, we bought like 20 of the things. Well, they would be cheap in. Y'all need to move them jokers. That's eating up some real estate in somebody's warehouse. I do like that stainless top. Well, it's got that backsplash going all the way around. Uh -huh. Man, that's nice. Regular price is like $13.99. Man. I made a... God. Cheat sheet on them the other day though. Thirteen ninety nine. So being you got a cheat sheet, they must be on sale. Less yeah, than thirteen. I got a. I got a deal on them. We like them deals. Deals is always a good thing, Mac Daddy. Nine eighty. Nine eighty. That's pretty good. Saving mm -hmm. almost four hundred dollars. So. Yeah. And they're solid tables, they too. They are nice, man. I like that. I love that backsplash going all the way around. All right, so I got something funny to kind of tell you. It's kind of cool. I know uh, you've seen those little lights that snap on sale. I think Maxion builds them for them, you mm -hmm. know? And it's little Cyclops lights. Yeah, don't you have some of those? Uh, or I, mean, I think you did. Probably you somewhere. Probably I've had them. a bunch of them. So, anyway... Do you know who Nick Morello is? 
I believe I do. He's got a YouTube channel, which it's just, he just started. It's pretty new in it, but he's growing really fast. So anyway, he's a, he's a tool truck dealer up in New Jersey. He's got a store up there, it's a Jersey Discount Tools, and he owns a gear wrench truck. Does a lot of online stuff, sells yeah. stuff. Yeah, so yeah. he's yeah. cool dude, funny to watch, you know. So he was trying to get them to work some deals with him on those lights, and they kind of, they pissed him off. Mm -hmm. And he's kind of like Wilson, like, you flex on me, I'm going to hit you in the mouth. <laughs> so... I mean, you got to give it to Wilson. He's got a yeah. set of cojones, and the same way with Nick. So he uh, he said, screw it. He went to the company. He's having his own lights made. <laughs> like, <laughs> dude, it's throwing down some cash to prove a point. You yeah. Know? So anyway, like, his YouTube channel's new, so I want to throw him a plug. You guys go check him out. It's JD Tico, and I think his show's called JD jd tico tv or something like that but i'll put it down here in the bottom but i'll put a little clip here of the day he is freaking awesome what's up guys how you doing my name is nick morello from jd T jd tico and uh we're recently started a youtube channel jd tv co and uh, I've been selling tools for 35 years, and I'm here fighting for every tool dealer in America, every mechanic in America. I'm tired of what's going on out there, and I'm here to set the, set the record straight of how they're manipulating the market against you guys. And we're going to do whatever we got to do to keep prices fair for you guys. Download our app, JD Tico. Follow us on YouTube, Facebook, uh, nickroll.com for interactive flyer. Whatever you got to do to get involved with us. And big shout out to our friend Clay Coon from Coon Trucking, and uh, we're big fans of him. And apparently, he likes us too, which is a which is which is strange bedfellows. But you know what? It is what it is. Where's he at? Mississippi? Yeah, I think so. Mississippi, where it's warm. New Jersey, it's 30 degrees. We're snowed in. I would be. I would show you my tool truck, but it's like uh, 20 degrees out there, guys, and we got like 30 inches of snow the other day. So this is our store, and uh, come follow us. And we're gonna make a button run. I'm gonna hit 100,000 followers. Hopefully in a year, because I'm going to be crazy. Thanks, guys. Like we always say, come for the price, stay for the show. Peace. Love you, Coon. But anyway, he uh, he kind of did that with the pliers. You know, he went to uh, a company, had his own pliers made, you know, strippers made. Like, it ain't going to be long. This dude's going to be like Just having his whole tool line. Like, I'm looking forward to his power tools coming out. Because, <laughs> like, he is no BS. He's straight up. You know, he's a cool dude, and uh, you guys will get a kick out of his channel if you haven't seen him, because he, he don't, it's kind of like Mike Tyson. It's raw, and it's real, and he don't give two crap <laughs> whose toes he steps on. It is what it is, and you get what That's you it. get, you know, so. But he's fun to watch, and, you know, I think it takes some, it takes some cojones to, like, I'll just make my own stuff. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and it's good like yeah you know i've got a couple of the pliers he sent me and uh he's got a line of cordless tool detailer and stuff and it works really good and like he's on to some stuff like he does it's, it's, it's impressive it's gonna be cool to see where it goes like who knows there may be jd tico tool trucks before long like if <laughs> if if mac or snap on or matco piss him off like i look for like the vans to be running around <laughs> selling his tools <laughs> mm. like, he's got a set on him so not it's pretty cool man i don't think i've ever seen a pair of those mac pliers that big which i've got the nipex pliers that's that big yeah, that's the P22Cs. Them some horses right there. Oh, hold on. Wait a minute. Spin that thing back around. I recognize that. Mm -hmm. The way the teeth's made. So that must be the Nipex. Yep. Just with a Mac. It's the ones they do for us. I mean, it even says it up here on them. Oh, yeah. yeah those jokers are bad. Look at that. I mean, you could... Man, you lead don't somebody wanna, anywhere they want to go. don't want to do right. You could, you could that? cure a headache with that pretty quick, couldn't you? You get oil filters or whatever you wanted to grab with that thing. Yeah. There you go right there. 
hook them on and stand on them. They'll get something <laughs> to me. Those are some hosses. Another hoss I got into is, now that's a breaker bar. Yeah, that's a breaker bar right there. Three quarter drive Mac breaker bar. Man, that's a big one. That's an attitude adjuster right there. It, it, it could be for sure. <laughs> <laughs> like if you got a daughter, when your daughter starts dating, that would be a good tool to, to have in your hand when the boyfriend pulls up. Yeah. Still got several sets of the flyer, hose clamp pliers left here. I can't believe you still got some of those wrenches left. Well, last minute I ordered a couple just to have the I was going to say, the what's wrong style? with these yeah. folks not buying them because them are a bargain. Yeah. You know, a lot of people fuss because those are made in Taiwan. I was like, man, I don't care. Because if I break it on Monday, Thursday, I'll get a new one. Who cares, you know? Yep. Like, for that price, man, it's, you can't touch that. You boys better order them. Somebody needs them right there, especially at that price. They, uh, that's a heck of a bargain. And those hose clamps. Those paint oil pliers are a good investment right there. You buy the angles, get the straights free, or vice versa, one or the other. And then I got a couple sets of the socket bundles left from this month's fly. You get the chromes. You buy is, the you is buy that the, the chromes. magnetic rails too. It's not the magnetic rails. It's the still the still the peg rail, but it's the precision torque. And it's got the biting grooves in them. You see that? Oh, yeah. So they're, it's sort of like the wrenches, the mm -hmm. way it works. It is. They're both the precision torque lines. Well, do you have any of the knuckle saver wrenches on here? I do. I had a lot of people talking about those that, like, if you like the precision torque, you should try the knuckle savers. And I'll be honest with you, I don't know that, uh, I don't know that any wrenches can work any better. Especially for the price, <laughs> the price of those, you know. So well, what's the difference between the two? Which this is a six point set, but it's just, you know, it's, it's your regular standard design of, you know, the, the head's not more offset. It's just the regular angle wrench, not necessarily angle wrenches, but just your regular standard combination wrenches. Mm -hmm. uh, and those are the Mac knuckle savers. And they're USA made. USA, right? American made knuckle savers. They're that, just a lot more expensive. I mean, this set, this one 10 piece set here is probably close to what you pay for the right. whole precision torque set, but. Now, do they uh, have the grooves cut in them too? Uh, they got a little notch in them right here. On the edge, on the mm -hmm. edge right there and right here, but uh, uh, I see from time to time somebody come in with old cracked one that you know was granddaddy's or great granddaddy's or they're they were a little bit more flatter on the edges of them than yeah. what they are now. They're a little bit more rounded now, but I mean for the most part, I mean they still um, match up to a lot of the older ones right they just got a little more rounded edge to them well that's the first time i've looked at them but i've heard a lot of people talk good about them you know mm -hmm. they said they really liked them yeah and this set's a 10 to 19 set i got one that must have slid out in my drawer here somewhere i'll have to find but they uh so that set's around 400 bucks or so three something i believe yeah. But I like those tool rolls like that too. I've got a couple of different tools that's in there and I like the way they pack up and you can throw them in a side box or whatever. It's... For using them out of your box every day, the pouches are aggravating versus a rack. Yeah. But like in a truck or service truck, man, it's, it's hard to beat them rolls because mm -hmm. I like the fact that, you know, you can roll them up like that. Some guys may not, but me personally, I like it. And this is a set of our thin wrenches. The case they came in broke on me. I gotta get another set, but 
Out into the mic, thin wrenches. Yeah, I'm just thinking about like that. Mm hmm. Are those USA or are they Taiwan? No, they're USA. Those are pretty nice. I bought a set of them, the Carlisle of those just because I needed them for a job. I hadn't used them much, but when you need them, they're nice to have. You know, I mean, and you're not going to put just tons of torque on them, being a thin wrench like that, you know. Right. But on some of the hydraulic fittings where you got to mm -hmm. get in there with two wrenches, those thin wrenches are nice. See, that's actually what I use to change grinder heads and stuff like that because the mm -hmm. one it comes with, they're so short, they suck, you know, and I can't, <laughs> I can't keep up with them. I'm not going to lie. I don't know where them things are. But a lot of guys talk about losing 10 millimeters. I can't keep up with them cheap Chinese tools they send when you buy <laughs> grinders and stuff like that. They always get dissipated. And I sell a lot of the expert wrenches too. That's a big old set right there. Mm-hmm. That's, a, I want to say by the weight of it, it's going to be a ratchet wrench set. Golly. Yeah. 24 millimeter. Yep. Eight to twenty-four, all reversible ratcheting. That's nice. That's pretty close teeth in teeth in them too. But you know, I've heard a lot of guys too. They fuss about they don't want to buy the second brand off the tool truck, like the Blue Point or the Expert or right. the Silver Eagle. But at the end of the day, it's the exact same warranty with them. So you know, and I've heard some guys say, "Well, why do they even offer them?" Well, it's simple. If you can't afford $800 for a set of the Mac ones, you can buy a set of experts probably for 500 you know? Not everybody has the same budget on tools. That's it. You know, you got your beginners that need tools that, you know, uh, can't afford to spend what your master techs can or... And there's nothing wrong with them. I mean, the same guys selling them, the same guys coming back every week to That's right. collect the and, payment on them. And then too, same you know... Warranty say if you're in a service truck and you work in the field a lot you know you may drop some or misplace some and yeah it's easier to replace a, a lot twenty dollar wrench replace. than it is an eighty dollar you wrench. got that right <gasps> this is a a neat set here of the precision torque sockets that we're in the fly right now if you oh, bought the bible if you bought the chromes up to a 19 the, uh, millimeter impacts free yeah you got the impacts free up to 24. I believe, mm -hmm. believe it was 24. 24. So, it's a good deal. I don't there. remember what the price was on those, but I know it was a pretty good deal on that. 239, 249. Right. You get two sets, two of, sets sockets. of sockets. Well, I got a pair of those Nipex uh, multi strips. Have you seen those? That you just, it goes from like an 8 to 32. You just stick the wire in and click it and it automatically sizes it and strips it. Those are pretty cool. Them. Like I've had several different brands of the automatic strippers mm -hmm. and everybody knows Nipex is the king of pretty much anything. If it's got handles on it, Nipex is pretty much, yeah. you know, the, the, the top dog in the game. So I thought well, I'll try some of these. Dude, them babies are bad. Are they? Yeah. Like, if it was a real life stripper, she ain't getting no dollars. She's the five dollar, ten dollar, twenty dollar girl, you know. Like she's she's raking it in. That's good. So, there. You need to look at getting a set of those, cause, dude, you could put them. Can't up, go wrong when you need the Nipix book. They you make could good put stuff. Put them up here on the counter and buy you a roll of cheap wire from Napa and cut it off in sections and just hand it to a guy. You don't be able to keep them strippers. You know, and it's nice. You know, a guy can actually hang out with them strippers and his wife don't get mad. <laughs> One time purchase. That's it. They're awesome. Well, I guess you got all your flyer stuff in ready for it or are you still waiting on it? Yeah, I'm still waiting on some of the new flyer coming up. I've got all my flyer two stuff in, but yeah. And uh, they're getting ready to send some of it out. So that new one will be out before we know it. Man, yeah. Won't be long. February 21st, 22nd, I start the 22nd, I start the next one. So there you go. All right, guys. Well, I guess I'm.
turn this thing off. We get Michael paid up and you know, check out Nick's channel. I think you'll find it very entertaining and he's got some really cool deals and tools on there to show you guys every week. But like always guys, thanks for watching. If you liked the video, hit that thumbs up. Check over here for merchandise, cool tools and discount codes is down here. And if you guys are looking for a Montezuma toolbox, I'll put a link there. You can use the code Coon10. You can save 10% off of any of the Montezuma stuff that they have on their website. That's good until somewhere around mid-February. They originally did February the 9th. They extended it a little bit. So if you guys are looking for a Montezuma box, check that in the description. Like always, guys, thanks for watching. If you like it, thumbs up and click that subscribe button. If you're not subscribed, press the button. You'll be in the club. You guys have a great one, and we will catch y'all next time. See ya.